everyone. This is Dave from Veterans and Smoke Rings, and I'm here to introduce you to my brand new 250 gallon offset smoker from Triple E Welding up in Duncan, Oklahoma. Look them up on Facebook. I'll have the link in this video. In today's video, I'm just going to be doing the initial seasoning. I've already put one layer of coconut oil, which is a good oil to use for seasoning smokers because it can withstand uh, high temperatures. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the second layer and uh, show you how I'm doing the inside, the grates and all that stuff. On the outside, you want to get everywhere that you can see pretty much, especially points that have uh, metal on metal contact, your hinges, those areas like that. I also have some uh, high temp paint that I'll be using on this, not today, but whenever any rust or anything gets up on there, we we'll starts to main thing one of the main things important things people normally neglect the bottom of the smoker because it's hard to get but rust will accumulate there as well also these spray bottles make it really easy as opposed to you know using a cloth or something like that And you can cover a lot of surface area with these. Really nothing to it, just spray it down. Even spray the smoke stack in the baffle. A lot of people can neglect that. Rust dust form there. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you the inside of the smoker. And in case you're wondering, I'm running about 350 degrees right now. If you look there, you can see, hopefully it's showing up on camera. This is the one hot spot that I have in this entire smoker. It runs dead even from end to end, other than that one spot. So I'm seasoning the grate, I'm also seasoning everywhere in here. Again, I'm using coconut oil. You can use canola oil or uh, peanut oil. Any oil that can withstand high temps. So let's close that up. Let the smoker do its thing. And that is the initial seasoning. Pretty quick video. Again, thanks for watching Veterans and Smoke Rings. We'll have some more videos coming. Uh, Marlo just made his own smoker. And I believe he may be building one more. I think a big one like this so stay tuned for that we'll have those videos coming also i'll have some more videos of some cooks on this smoker because i'm actually cooking today i can't wait to <clears throat> get the ribs and the pork butt going so yeah thanks for watching and again triple e welding look them up i'll have the information in this video thanks for watching